to I went to bring my impact. I was looking, I just see one of these like lugs kind of. It was like it was one of them was like hand tight. So I'll bring my impact home from the garage uh, from the shop tonight, and uh, I need to buy me none and go through here tighten all these up make sure they're good and everything but anyways guys what is going on so today we actually are going to go pick up a transmission i was just out here just messed around in the, the barn a little bit um got to over six so but today we're actually going to pick up the transmission i talked to the guy he said he ordered a stage three it's an ats stage three transmission he said it was around like 11 grand for it but he said it should hold you know the horsepower and thing and you know the, the torque what the truck is pushing out and should be able to turn the tires no problem until we set for a dry shaft yeah but anyways we're going to go ahead and go pick that up and everything and head to the shop and install it i got the truck on the lift anyways i put it on there the other day uh luckily i still i got this truck so I guess i'm just going to, have to start bringing my truck and trailer home with me I've been wanting to get me a little, well I do have that little trailer, but I like to get me uh, like a car hauling trailer, like a small one. That way it's like if I have to go get a small car or something like that or a part, I can just take it and I don't have to take my big you know, uh, gooseneck. Because right now, I feel like this might be able to kill for a transmission, but it is on a pallet. But we're going to go ahead and pick that up. I think I'm actually going to go this way. And we'll take it, install it, take the truck for a rip. It, it's supposedly it's supposed to have, you know, like around, you know, nine, you know, hundred to a thousand horsepower. It sounds mean as crap. So hopefully this does it and it doesn't break anything. I already got the uh, dry shaft at the shop. We should go get the trails. All right, at Cleaver's Motors. Been a while since we picked up anything here. Is that it? Yeah, it is. I, I love the ATS ones because they're, it's really nice. Somebody said I needed to paint the trailer. I'm thinking about it. I feel like we almost need, I need to wash the truck and trailer, but I feel like we need this trailer to be almost like a brown or like either dark brown or the tan. I think it'd match good because this is like my truck from now on to pull the stuff unless we get another one. I like to have a flatbed. So I don't know, but that'll do us for now. But look at that bad boy. All right, so that's going to be the ones going in the truck. Uh, I need to go find him. Hey, no, there's nobody in there. Uh, ooh, motor. Let's see if he's here. Hey, yeah. Yep, here, pick it up. He already paid for it. All right, man. All right. All right, they're going to get a guy to bring the forklift out and slap him in the trailer, and then we're going to head back and put it in. I like this truck right here. This is a basic, well, this is a Chevy, but I was like, this is a, probably like, what, 2020 or something like that? I think this is their new tow rig. Later on, once we get our semi done, we'll have to get a truck bed or a, a flat bed or flat deck or whatever, whatever you want to call it, trailer. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and tighten this bad boy down. All right, we got that. Time to hit the road and uh, go install this thing. It shouldn't take too long for it to install. Um, I already drained all the fluid out of the other one, that what was left, because it like completely shattered it and everything. That way we don't have to worry about that. I think we might actually go on around. And then we'll just go down the, down under the underpass big trailer for a little transmission we definitely gotta get like a little car hauling trailer well i have the other one but the only thing is like where it's a dump it basically if you put a pallet in it the forklift never going to make it up because it's at a steep incline and i don't want like a eleven thousand dollar transmission sliding off and like rolling over but guess what happened what well the transmission bit the dust again bit the dirt dust dirty bit the mud there we go all right boost building it boost building it and go she likes to take her time I love these seats in here. Like I said, it's a really nice truck. It's like too nice. I feel like we're going to like destroy it. Alright, um, let's 
right in the middle, so we should be good with the full clip. Let's go ahead and open this bad boys up. And big old dodge. I actually had to pull it in step back it in. The front wheel spit, but the rear wheels wouldn't. So we actually kind of made it work. So that was always good. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up. Let's open all these doors. Oh, this is a beautiful day out. Really don't get too many beautiful days or anything like that. All right. Let's go ahead and get the old RC forklift. All right. And we got to get that motor in. It's a really nice motor. Get the trunk running good, and then we'll add suckers gone after I drive it just for a little bit. Probably want to unstrap it from the trailer. I feel like that might be the best bet. Like, man, I don't know what happened to the pallet. Like, <laughs> went to lift and tra a trailer tried to come with it. Live a little bit. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Perfect. And we'll get it off this pallet and everything. Uh, probably need to turn it this way. I'll try to get it to best I can. I might have backed this to the garage. I might not have. Shh, we won't tell anyone. Alright. Alright, let's feel like this one we'll do is, uh, line it up and try to get it close as I can under the truck because I don't have a little trolley or anything like that. I need a pallet jack. That would be good. Alright. I wish this had an adjustable fork because I don't think it has... It does! It does have adjustable forks. Holy crap! If you believe in it, it will have them. Alright, let's go and try to push it under there. As far as we can, at least. Oh, alright. Actually, I can go in a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and drop it. I'll probably I'll slide it off the pallet and we'll go from there. Yeah, stupid battery thing. It's still running on the same battery, though. Ain't like, propane might have switched it out. Alright, let's get this unbolted from the pallet. And uh, we're going to try to slide it up in there. All right, so let's see. I think it's lined up, got the old out. We'll go ahead and get the new. We're my, my two. Get my tool. I got my grinder over there just in case. But it's like, yeah, man, what tool you use to put the trans in? A grinder. That was not pretty a grinder. All right, we got this. We'll go ahead and try to get everything bolted up and everything. Hopefully, everything lines up and fits. It should. I mean, it's a direct fit transmission and everything. And uh, we'll get everything hooked up. These are beasts. This truck is a monster. I gotta say, I do like it, but it's just. It's, I like this. This would be all right, but the back is wide as sucker's huge. All right. Let's get in. There we go. All right, so we got everything tightened up, everything, everything uh, uh, is torqued to spec. We're gonna go ahead and let it down. We're gonna have to put the, uh, we're going to put some uh, transmission fluid in, and everything like that. Make sure nothing's leaking or anything down the lines, and uh, we should be good to go. All right, let me go ahead. I need to pop the hood on this thing. ahead and put the old transmission fluid and everything make sure it's good and uh, we'll be good to go it's gonna take a lot all right so we got everything in there let's go ahead and fire it up just gonna let it sit here and idle a little bit this thing sounds so freaking mean like, listen to that that turbo is so loud Go ahead and 
put it in reverse if you got it. All right. You got reverse. Drive. All right, so we got drive. All right, I gotta back this thing. For some reason, I gotta cook it up here or something. Scratch the rims. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna let it looks like we're not really leaking anything or anything like that. I mean I did spill some here, but that's it. Uh, I think we're good. I'm going back out and spray it underneath it because transmission fluid is flammable. So we don't want it to <laughs> we don't want to be like, hey buddy, what I can tell you but the truck's on fire. Um, I blame it uh, not on me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and back this up. I don't know why I turned that off. I always park my truck in the dang way. Never fit. Alright, that thing is so nasty. Why this thing is. Alright, get down on. Seems to be doing pretty decent. We'll, we'll drive through the little uh, community down here with this thing. Let's see how loud it is. I do apologize if the vehicles are just loud, different vehicles are just different loudness. It ain't all the same.
I mean, but if he does burnouts and stuff, yes, it's, it's going to be, you know, I mean, things break. That's just how it is. This should hold the power. But now, if he's doing, like, burnouts every day with these wide tires and stuff on it, yeah, he might, he'll probably end up breaking something. And the rear end will probably be the next thing. Completely demolish it. All right, well, that's done. I'm going to call him and tell him his truck's done to come and get that bad boy. Let's go ahead. Crap, I got to put the forklifts in. I'll put it. Get the old forky. I'll drive any forking thing around, you know what I'm saying? All right, we are done. Let me go ahead and park this in there. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a blessed day. If you could, hit that like button. It always helps the channel out. And uh, we're going to be, uh, we'll be working on this big brood over here. Be next, we'll be putting a new engine in and stuff. And I'm driving around just a little bit just to see. Yeah, like, could you imagine putting a fifth wheel in this thing? Or put, like, trying to... Hmm. Now, we need, like, a big drop-down hitch or something. Or a big old drop-down trailer. Eventually, you know, we might get one and stuff. But anyways, guys, like I said, hope everybody's having a blessed day. And I'm out of here. <laughs> America. Man, I love that Dodge right there. I gotta call that guy. That gonna. Wait, where's my keys? Oh, don't tell me I locked them in. Please. It ain't in my pocket. Wait, is it in here? Yeah, they're there. Okay. I lost. Locked my keys. Alright, good call this guy.